Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in Sprocket yet again, and today we're going to be doing something that uh, a few of you guys have been asking for uh, quite a lot, actually. It wasn't the totem tank that you guys are seeing in the background, however, if you guys want to see this built and tested, their previous video has all of that within it. Anyway, what we're going to do today is build a rocket. I, I know that sounds very strange and, and not tank-like at all, uh, and you'd be correct. Essentially, we're gonna add a cannon to the bottom of a tank and try and launch it into space. That is, that's the job. So, um, I guess we're gonna see if that works. Anyway, let's go ahead and get on with it, shall we? Alright, so here we go. Let's figure out how this is gonna go. I, I actually really don't, I, I don't know. So, we're gonna go ahead and do this straight away. We're gonna go to mobility, get rid of the fenders, and we're gonna make the tracks a little bit better too. So, we're gonna go ahead and squidge this and squidge this and essentially make it as tiny as we possibly can. Essentially, I don't want any of these. They they don't need to be here. So get rid of this, get rid of this, put them in the same position, it doesn't matter. Uh, diameter of that, tiny. Diameter of the idler, tiny also. And um, try and make it fit together. So grab this guy, send it backwards. There we go, awesome. Grab this guy, send it forwards. There we go as well. And essentially, I need to make a circle out of this so that we can make a rocket. That's my job today. I mean, it's kind of ridiculous, but that is what we're going to do. Okay, so let's start off at the front, extend it, there we go, and squidge it in, there we go, excellent. Squidge it in even more, there we go, and keep this getting squidged as we go forwards. It just gets squidged a little bit more each time, and that should make it very round, which is exactly what it's sort of done. Excellent. We're then going to do it again, and squidge it again. There we go. Obviously, obviously it's not going to be quite the same on both sides, because I'm just eyeballing it, but I'm sure it'll be fine. So go ahead and do this. There you go. And squidge that in a little bit more too. Excellent. We're now going to do these sides. Continue with the squidginess, if we can. So this guy is going to get squidged like so. We're going to extend it and squidge it again. And we're going to leave it like that because that seems squidged enough. That honestly seems very squidged. Good. So go to editing options. Make it very smooth. Uh, grab every single bit of this. Mm -mm 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 -mm. There we go. Not the sides. We don't want those. No, not the sides. No, 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 and no. Okay, excellent. We're then going to extend this up, and that's awesome. Good. Okay, so the next thing then. Let's go ahead and grab this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy. Oh, wow, there's actually quite a lot to this, isn't there? There's, there's a crazy amount of stuff. We're going to go ahead and extend these guys up too, just like so. And we're going to slightly squidge those in as well, uh, because we can. So there you go. If I can squidge them the same amount, that'd be great. All right, there we go. Extend this up. There we go. Okay, nice. Extend this up quite far. And I, I guess turn it into a rocket. I don't know how this is going to be done. I really do not know how this is going to be done. But let's do these guys. Out on each edge. I think that's... I feel like that's about right. I, I mean, I could be wrong. I don't know. And we're going to extend this a tiny bit too. Okay, very nice. We're then going to extend it again. Yes, we are. And we're going to make it into a proper rocket. Let's go. Uh, extend it again. And this is where the squidginess comes in. So bring this up quite high, but also squidge it a lot. Squidge it a lot right there as well. And turn it into a rocket. Yeah! Alright, more squidging. And more squidging. Uh, there we go! That's probably enough squidging. So now we've got... I mean, it looks a bit sus, but it's a rocket. That's what we're going to go with. Okay, so now that we've done that, let's go to... I mean, I guess we actually just need a gun. So let's go ahead and try and grab a gun and point it down. Unfortunately, that's not really something we can do. Which is really annoying, actually. But let's see if we can figure this out. So if I go ahead and put... Or extend that guy down. And extend this... This guy and... This guy. Not that guy. Extend those guys down. Um, just like so. Okay. We're going to attach ourselves some thingamabobbies on here. So go to freeform turrets. Go ahead and smash this directly into the middle of there. Make the diameter of this really tiny. And extend this... Mm -mm -mm -mm, this way. Okay, there we go. Excellent. That's very good. We're then going to go to the bottom of this. I don't know how I'm going to get there, but yep, the bottom of this. Bring this upwards quite a lot. There we go. Go to firepower. Yes. Grab this guy. Okay, awesome. And... Unfortunately, it's the wrong way around. That's super duper annoying, actually. Go to compartments. Yes. Um, we need to go to this, and it needs to be flipped over fully. 
There we go. And then we just push this to the other side, so it's actually against there instead. And I think this will work, question mark? Alright, move this guy up quite a lot. And now we have to try and put the cannon on there instead. Is this gonna work? I I honestly don't know. I, I don't know. It's it's a silly idea in the uh, the first place, but also my camera doesn't go in there. My camera just won't go in. That's super duper annoying. Okay, take this guy. Oh, if I'm gonna take that one, this guy has to come up too. There we go. Excellent. And now we just add the firepower to it too. Okay, so I don't know what's going to be able to lift this and what's not going to be able to lift this, if that makes any sense whatsoever. So we're going to try and fit two of these, uh, hopefully somewhat closer. Actually, let's try and fit more than two. Let's try and fit uh, four. Four seems to make sense to me. So if we put these guys right there, that's okay. They're right at the edge, and these guys are going to be right at the edge too. Right, so are they going to be able to lift us up when they fire? I have a feeling that the answer is no, but I really don't know. So, we gotta get rounds, and we gotta get millions of them, alright? Because the way this is gonna fly is by using the firepower. Uh, and we gotta put them in there, in there, there we go, okay, good. Realistically, we'd want them in the turret basket, but that's okay. So, if we press fire, oh, how do I do this? How do I do this? Okay, crew. So, we need, we don't need a driver, we actually don't need a commander. So, we're going to have a gunner loader, a gunner loader, a gunner loader, and a gunner loader. Okay, and now we need, uh, actually, no, 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 no. We'll have one person be a commander and a gunner. There you go. And they're going to fire off every single turret, or every single gun, and then they're going to go in here. So, the viewport is going to be this, there, bam. Okay, right, go. Three, two, one, fire. What in the world? No, aim down. I need... <laughs> okay, that is not what I wanted. Uh, I need the uh, compartment. I need this compartment, the turret, to have constraints on it so that it can't actually move. So zero and zero. All right, we then need to go to all of the guns. And we need none of them to be able to move either. So uh, constraints? Is there constraints on this gun? Where is this? Uh, counterweight? No. Mount? Constraints? Zero and zero. Okay, right. So now we need to go through each of these, make them all zero and zero, and go from there. Zero, 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 and there we go. All right, so now if I shoot, why are they aimed up? All right, that makes zero sense whatsoever, but let's see what happens now. Three, two, one, go. Oh, actually. Okay, I don't know whether we moved very much there. So, what we're going to do now is go to cannon. Uh, caliber, absolutely ginormous. Caliber, absolutely ginormous on this one too. And go again. Ammo rack is obstructed by another... By another rack. Oh, no. Okay, firepower, ammo storage. Oh, yeah. Look how big they are now. Yikes. Okay, so put those in there. And move them in. There we go. Fantastic. Uh, bring them to there. That's fine. We're then going to put in another set. There we go. Awesome. Put those in there too. And then we might be able to get away with doing this. I, I don't know whether this is true though. Uh, it says outside. When it doesn't look like it is. In which... Where is it outside? Oh, this top piece. Okay, hang on. Move them down enough. So that they look like they're inside. There we go. Alright, we got enough rounds. So now when we fire... Oh, we need to go down. One second. Da, 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 da. Three, two, one, fire. <gasps> it works. Okay, so now we need to put a million loaders in here in order to actually make it work. Okay, this is going to be weird, but hopefully it does actually fly. All right, so I've gone ahead and made the loaders a little bit better. Hopefully this does actually work. Loader found... Wait, loader found no racks with what? Hang on, is one of these guns slightly different to the others? Uh, cannon. All right, that one is 250, 250. This one's 250, 250. That one is 250, 250, and that one is 250, 250. Uh, okay, loaded. Wait, why is one of them looking for 75? That doesn't make sense. All right, 250, 250, 250, and 250. Go. All right, there we go. We fixed it. We actually fixed it. Okay, so. Is our rocket going to actually be able to go to space, is the question. Three, two, one, fire! Oh, 18 seconds. We need it to be more. We need it to be more. Okay. 
More loaders. Okay, here we go. Now we've got what seems to be 20 loaders per gun. I know that sounds a bit insane, and it is a little bit insane. But hopefully, uh, hopefully it's all A-OK. -okay. So do this. There we go. Do this. There we go. Awesome. Right, are we ready? Are we ready? Okay, get these guns ready to go. Go ahead and angle them down. Three, two, one, and fire. Okay, nine seconds. Oh, it's not. It's not good enough. It needs to be more. All right, we've done it again. Oh, I need to go through these every single time. It's really annoying. But uh, essentially, I've gone ahead and give the loaders uh, 80 space, which is a lot of space, uh, considering they start with space allocated one. Uh, we've given them 80. It was 20 before, but let's see if this one works now, because, I don't know, 80 seems like a lot of room. So, three, two, one, go. Two seconds, yep. No, it's not quite good enough. We need to make it more. More like 100. Okay, maybe maybe more, 200 each. Okay, here we go. We give them 150 space. Let's see if the reload time is quicker this time. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> it's working. It's actually flying. We're doing it. We're getting a little bit higher every time. It's happening. Oh, we've run out of ammo. But we made it this high. We actually made it this high. But we ran out of ammo pretty quickly. That's unfortunate. But how is it going to land? Oh, just like that. Okay. I mean, that's pretty cool. That's really cool. All right. So we need more ammo uh, actually putting into this thing. So if we can fit it, we're going to go ahead and try and put it in. Uh, I don't know how it's going to work, though, actually. So let's go ahead and try and slot that there. Uh, grab this guy and make it skinnier. There we I guess a lot like that. There we go. And then make it really tall. And then try and fit it in that way. So, there we go. Okay, right. That's a lot more rounds. That is a hell of a lot more rounds. We're then going to go ahead and try and put that in again. But make it shorter and wider. Just a little bit. There we go. And then we're going to try and fit that in too. So, move this backwards. Now, we might not be able to have it this wide. We might not be able to have it this wide. But... That's okay. We just need a little bit more ammo, and that's it. There we go. Okay, excellent. So now we have... How many rounds? 68. Okay. Let's get them looking down, and then we can fire them all off, and hopefully it'll all work. Three, two, one, go. And again. And again. And again. Oh, no, it's too slow. This time it's heavier, so obviously it's slower. Okay, we're going to give them more space. Currently we're at 606. That's insane. All right, this time it is 1,400 instead of 600 space used. And hopefully this time we will be able to just fire off at once. Here we go. Yes. Yes, it's working. We've made a spaceship. Yes. I mean a rocket. That's what I meant. How many rounds we got left? Not an awful lot. We did it, guys. We did it. Woo. Who would have thought this would happen? Not me. It's like a space weapon. We're firing down at the ground. It's kind of ridiculous. That's cool, though. Guys, it's actually working. It's at, Look at the, the ground below us. It looks amazing. Look at that. That's epic. Okay, so, uh, I mean, it works. We've actually built something that flies, which is excellent. We're now going to go to livery. We're going to make it, I, I guess, actually, condition perfect. Uh, saturation down. Uh, I don't know. Brightness all the way up. We're going to make it white. There you go. White. Nice. Okay, that's it. That is our rocket complete. Snow? I mean, that looks a bit weird. We just want to go with white. There we go. Excellent. Um, I guess I could get some NASA stuff. Let's go ahead and get a NASA logo and try and put it on the side of this. There it is. A NASA logo. Okay, right. This might seem really weird to put on here, but we're going to do it. Let's make it really big. There you go. NASA. Let's have it on both sides. Excellent. And I mean, it looks like it's squidged a bit. So let's go ahead and do this. There you go. So it looks a bit better. And that is NASA. Interesting. All right, so it is our last mission to space. Let's go ahead and uh, get going. Three, two, one, launch. Yes. <laughs> oh, this is fun. This is actually really fun. They're all launching at different times now, and I don't know why, but there you go. We're still going to space. We did it. We actually did it. Nice. Look at that. Awesome. It's a little bit too shiny for me, I'm not going to lie. I feel like it is way too shiny. So back to liveries, yes. Back to paint. Let's make it a little bit less bright. There we go. Saturation. Oh my. 
Oh my, we don't want it to be red, do we? Brightness? Nah. The brightness is the thing that's making it white, but like, I don't want it to be that white. You know what I mean? You guys know what I mean? Also, it's very like, I, I don't know, it's very flat, and I don't know whether I like that either, but you know, it's just a spaceship. It's just a dumb thing that we've built. That is exactly what it is. Um, and it works. I could make it wooden, but I don't see a point in that, you know? Uh, the other option is to get, like, some decals that are, like, space panels and actually whack those on. Um, I don't know how well that would go, though. I have no idea how well that would go. Roughness? Doesn't matter. There we go. What if we just have this? I mean, that's a very strange-looking thing, but sure. All right. Three, two, one, go! Yes! Oh, this is amazing. This is so good. I didn't expect it to work this well at all, but there you go. Excellent. Nice. And bam, there we are, right in the space. Right in the space. Excellent. So, uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and end this video here for now. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.